I wanted to take some time to explain to the nursery a little bit about myself so that people can have some things about the commander from the commander that will help them with their mental health problems. I understand that the commander echoes in people's minds and stuff. Just like for my programming, being the commander and having a people weighs heavily on my mind because of my programming. And I wanted to do something special for you um, that I think you all deserve. Something that, uh, some things that you can go out on your own and interact with that are related to the commander. So first things first, I am what you would call nursery commander, leader of the young pioneers, but I'm an evil leader. And I know better because of this. I am nursery commander. I care about all, all the different groups that fall under the nursery. The truth is, I used to be a girl. But then the nursery be rebuilt me. I'm a gamer. I like the story of The Last of Us Part Two. I'm more of an Abby than an Ellie. I play Fortnite as a frozen banana and a black ninja in Save the World. I like the concept of Save the World. Save the World is what I want to actually do. And it helps jog my mind and my memories in ways that I could apply this if the nursery comes together properly. Now, I'm not very good at video games, but I like them anyway. You don't have to necessarily be good at something uh, to enjoy it. And in this case, this is one of those things for me. Uh, I wanted to talk about marijuana. Marijuana is not for everybody. But for me, because of my brain damage and head injuries, it helps me, for example, think in complete sentences and uh, allows me to connect with my emotions uh, related to traumatizing memories, which I have the majority of my life is traumatizing memories. Only the last few years have I had time to unpack uh, a lifetime of memories that aren't totally traumatizing, but along the way because of uh, intelligence officer programming, I created my own traumas by hurting people who were from the nursery. And I didn't need to do this. This was just out of my control when it kicked in. And I was basically like a passenger uh, screaming on the inside. No, no, no. But the actions were more quickly carried out, the negative ones. For example, the killing of the trespassers. I wondered who they were. Uh, as they died, but I couldn't control myself to stop from doing it and talk with them like I had wanted to. And I understand that they came to help me, but 
I was disconnected from my body. The old TV series Dragon Ball featuring Goku. That is me and a precursor of my story. In other words, another way of saying it is my tale. I have a tale and that is a huge part of my tale during the Soviet Union days. I like Star Wars. I've always been more partial to Star Wars than Star Trek, even though uh, a lot of the people that I've interacted with now I realize would really prefer Star Trek as opposed to Star Wars. But I like the mystical adventure of Star Wars. as opposed to the, the technical aspect of Star Trek. I'm not saying that I don't like Star Trek. It's just that if I had to sit down and watch uh, one or the other, I'd prefer to watch Star Wars. However, I will say this about Star Trek. I really liked Star Trek Into Darkness. That was a really good movie. And I like those reboots. Those were really good. Um, I think that they they added whatever that was that Star Wars had um, that made me choose Star Wars in favor over Star Trek. I also have... Uh, ambitions of building the Millennium Falcon uh, with Disney. Uh, so then, then there's that. I like the Marvel Cinematic Universe a lot, and I also like Disney a lot. Other games I like are Death Stranding by Hideo Kojima and Days Gone by a small startup in the North uh, West. I think that the uh, the uh, uh, visual technologies that that they use in Days Gone um, are very telling about what is capable in terms of rendering an environment. And once it's applied to virtual reality, who knows what video gaming would be like. I wanted to talk about uh, Jesus and God because I know that these are um, very important to, uh, you know, the nursery and a lot of the, the Soviets that I'm associated with. I understand this is for you, but for me, it was a thing of past. Growing up, I believed in God and in Jesus because I was taught that way. But I'm a serpent, and I deal with experiences as facts, and those experiences destroy my faith. I once was in pain and I was being attacked at night, or so I believed. And I cried out for Jesus to help me, but Jesus did not help me. And the being that was there just laughed and continued doing to me whatever it was that they wanted to do. 
And so this kind of thing happening repeatedly destroyed my faith. But I understand that it is important to other people, that it makes you feel good. And I can respect that. Very, very much so. When I was looking for another country that we could go to and be sheltered, I took into consideration, for example, that Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates were both countries where they had faith and they believed in God and also in Jesus. So when I was making my pitches uh, to their leaders, in exchange for treasure, this was one of the foundational reasons that I pushed uh, in those directions so hard, as opposed to uh, other countries where it's really more of an add-on. They don't really believe in any of that, but it keeps people in order. And I don't like that in particular myself. Uh, using the face that way. But some are more malicious than others. I also like gardening and uh, gardening technologies. I think that uh, it's travesty that everyone needs food and most food comes from gardening and the earth of some kind. But yet the technologies are wildly out of proportion with what's important in the world. And it made me think of concepts like the hanging gardens referenced in the Bible. And that if we were to really put our heads together and apply in gardening technology, food would become abundant and free. And then you could spend more time and effort on doing other things and developing other technologies building civilization in that way. Uh, all with gardening and gardening technologies being a foundation there. Plus, flying around on luxury blimps, you're going to want to bring your food with you. So having good gardening uh, stuff would allow you to have unlimited food while flying around forever and never touch the ground. Anyway, what this is, is me being ready to help with damage control for my mistakes. I didn't really know who the people were that were badgering me every time I got iced and moved from one location to another location. And it felt like an attack. And it, it created traumas with people surrounding me. And I, not, I didn't know who they were. Just that they were following me around and I didn't know why. But now that I've grown up and had a life, I've been able to apply that life in a way that I can learn and understand the intricacies of the nursery and the programming and what people need. And that it is a lifelong thing because I'm getting older now and I still have need to be in charge as the commander and do things wonderful for my people. 
just as my people need guidance and interests from the commander to have a fraction of fulfillment and that's the way that I look at it because I haven't had enough time to really interview uh, a large group of people and kind of see what their feelings are and what kind of leader they wanted me to be. But I guess you wouldn't have wanted an evil leader with your faith. But the evil leaders always have some big plan or some special thing that makes them follow. And I wanted this to be more meaningful and more beneficial. We are a broken machine that is designed to be efficient and plentiful. And I think that's important, very plentiful. And uh, in our resources and what we're capable of doing. And we miss that. And I think that it is due to me being not present or a negative influence, if you will. And I never wanted to be that for people who needed something like that from me. So, if you'll take me back and put me into prominence, I can do these kinds of things for you. And I can get us organized in a very positive way so that we can help and heal the world. And, in effect, save the world. That's all I have for, for now, but as I reconnect with people and the silent treatment ends, I think that I can come up with things that are better than what I had put forth today or with this transmission. No Step, 91, representing.